Hello there, I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Let's jump into Affinity Designer templates and presets. Templates in Affinity Designer are pre-designed documents that you can use as a starting point for your own designs. They can save you time by providing a foundation for your work and can also serve as a helpful reference or guide as you create your own designs. Templates are different from the presets in that a preset only defines a document and doesn't have any content. To use a template in Affinity Designer, follow these steps. So now it's time to do that good and geeky thing and put a like on the video because it helps the algorithm. So you've got Affinity Designer open and click on File in the top menu. Select New from the drop down menu. In the new document dialog that appears, select the Templates tab. Browse through the available templates and choose the one that best fits your needs. Click on the template you want to use and then click Create. The template will open as a new document in Affinity Designer. Once you have opened the template, you can start customizing it to make it your own. You can add or delete elements, change colors and make any other modifications you want. Keep in mind that templates are just meant to be a starting point, so you'll still have to put some effort into customizing and refining your design. If you don't see the templates you need in the built-in templates, you can also create your own template or import a template from another source. So I've made some changes to this and I will save this as a template. So I'm going to go to the file and export as template. And then I just have to make sure I put it into the correct place. Give it a name. So there's my place for affinity templates. Click on save. And I've saved that as a template. Lovely. By the way, another way that you can make your work quicker when you're making these things is to use assets. And in assets, I've got my logo set up in here and all I've got to do is drag that out of there and I'm golden. Here we are in my Affinity Templates folder. And if you've got Affinity Designer templates from elsewhere, these are the ones with the AF template as their suffix for the file name. And you can just drag and drop them into this folder and then you can use them in your Affinity applications. Using templates is a great way to save time and get a head start on your designs in Affinity Designer. With a little customization and personalization, you can create professional quality designs that are uniquely your own. The elements available in a template will depend on the specific template you are using. However, many templates include common design elements, such as text, Preformatted text boxes with placeholder text that you replace with your own content. Images. Placeholder images that you replace with your own images or graphics. Shapes. Basic geometric shapes or more complex graphics such as icons or logos. Grids and guides. Visual aids to help you align and position elements on the page. Some templates may also include more advanced elements such as pre-designs, page layouts, in general, templates are meant to provide a starting point for your design and can include a wide range of elements to help you get started. You can use the provided elements as is or customize them to fit your needs. So all you've got to do now is to subscribe so that you'll get notified when there's more tutorials coming out. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon.